the belief that only special talented people are creative and you have to be born the, that way diminish our confidence in their creative abilities we all have creative potential so uh, creativity is a skill that can be developed and a, and a process that can be managed but creativity doesn't go along by itself it should be always followed by the action if you have ideas but don't act on them you are imaginative not a creative mm, it requires practice to develop the right muscles and supportive environment in which to flourish so basically it is a set of repetitive actions that bring you from the problem to the solution the creative process literally looks as almost any process that is used in product development I prefer using design thinking as a great example of moving from the problem to the solution with uh, just few easy steps. This process goes back actually to 50s and was formalized by Alex Osborne, one of the founders of BBDO. And it employs three primary steps that include exploring the challenge, generating ideas and preparing for action. It's important to note that you don't always need to chase uniqueness uh, with creatives. Try focusing on progression. Know what works good for your audience and try to become better at it uh, in a different ways. Uh, that can mean applying your creativity and style to something completely new. I'm sure a lot of speakers these days will be emphasizing that you need to test a lot, create catchy ads, you need to be different, but it's important to remember your content doesn't need to be ugly to drive emotion, be effective or trigger action. These are the simple guiding team tips to create effective designs and impress your audience. Show, don't tell. What does it mean? Use visuals or metaphors to communicate your message. Don't write a lot of messages in one small banner. Explore trends, like already said. Strike with trendy color palettes. That's where the posted photos and Creole also can help you with. Use professional design templates uh, that you can customize to any of your format if you don't have any ideas to start with. Apply branding to stay native and consistent in your brand communication. Spice with movement and sound, um, but keep it simple. Not overwhelm your audience as everyone is trying to shout louder in this overcrowded digital. So what's next? You made your research and have some ideas. Time to build prototypes and test them on your audience. And you know what? Uh, you have all the tools you need already. Researches show that 4 in 10 people believe that they do not have the tools or access to the tools to create. And technology is recognized for its ability to help individuals overcome creative limitations and provide inspiration. Tools provide low entrance barriers for creative industry. They give you flexibility. You don't need to rely on your designer to improve your ideas. Um, they allow you to be flexible with making changes any time of the day and the night when you need to change something.